Hi, this is Ahmed Alogaili and Manos Brilakis presenting case 255 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case in which the retrograde approach was used through an occluded vein graft to recanalize a native right coronary artery CTO. The patient was a woman with previous coronary bypass that presented with angina, was found to have inferior ischemia and a right coronary artery CTO. The RCA is diffusely diseased with occlusion distally. There is a patent vein graft going to the obtuse marginal with epicardial collaterals to the right. And there is also a lima to LAD supplying the diagonal and giving some septals to the right as well. This is the occluded saphenous vein graft. The occlusion is shortly after the aortic anastomosis. To summarize, we have a CTO of the right coronary artery with a blunt proximal cap. Length was difficult to assess without dual injection, but seemed to be about 25 millimeters. Distal vessel was uh, diffusely diseased with a bifurcation on the distal cap. And then there were epicardial collaterals, and this occluded saphenous vein graft uh, to the PDA. Given the bifurcation of the PDA PLV and the diffuse disease of the distal vessel, our plan was to go retrograde to a primary retrograde through the occluded saphenous vein graft. If that didn't work, try to go undergrade. The most common way for crossing vein grafts is to use a large microcatheter like the Corsair with a polymer jacketed guide wire, and the Gladius Mongo was used in this case. And fortunately, the wire went uh, very easily through the saphenous vein graft and advanced all the way towards the anastomosis with the native vessel. We advanced the Corsair and then did uh, an injection through the Corsair tip injection, showing the uh, PDA and the posterior lateral. There's a bifurcation on the distal cap right over here. We then uh, inserted a Pilot uh, 200 guide wire that went through the vein graft into the native. And then we're trying now to go retrograde to reach uh, the distal cap of the CTO. And the Pilot very nicely took this uh, bend from the vein graft to the PDA close to the distal RCA. We were then able to navigate with the Corsair through this uh, tortuous area, this 180 degree bend to go into the PDA and then close to the distal cap. And this step can sometimes be challenging, but we were able to advance the Corsair here without too much difficulty. We then try to puncture the distal cap. We use the Gaia Next 2 guide wire. The distal caps can be resistant, but typically they're less so than the proximal cap because uh, often they're not uh, exposed to fully systemic pressure after the vein graft uh, is occluded. We were then able to advance a polymer jacketed wire and another Gladius Mongo and advance an undergrade wire. And now we're having overlap of the wires in the distal RCA. We did a reverse cart with a balloon distally. And then we were able to advance the retrograde guide wire inside the undergrade Amplatz 1 guide catheter, externalized an R350. But then we have the bifurcation, so we advanced the dual lumen microcatheter. This is a Sasuki, close to the PDA PLV bifurcation. And then uh, we used the workhorse guide wire run through, and we were able to wire into the right uh, posterior lateral. And this is very important before we stand, so we have access to the vessel in case it becomes occluded. We then stand it all the way from the um, distal RCA all the way to the proximal right coronary artery. And this provides a nice result. We did have excellent flow in both the PDA and the right posterior lateral. Multiple lessons from this case. The first one is that for diffusely diseased distal vessel, and here the vessel has grown, even immediately after standing, the vessel has grown, but it was very small on the diagnostic angiogram, likely because of underperfusion. So in such cases, where the vessel distal is very small and diffusely diseased, going with the primary retrograde approach is advantageous because if we go undergrade and we go extra plaque or subintimal, re-entering is quite challenging. Second lesson is uh, the retrograde conduit. Saphenous vein grafts, even if they are occluded, they can be used as retrograde conduits 
as was the case with our patient, and often they can be crossed with a polymer jacketed guide wire quite easily. The third is again the polymer jacketed for crossing the occluded vein grafts. The fourth is the use of tip injection through the microcatheter to delineate the distal anatomy. And finally, using a dual lumen microcatheter when we're coming undergrade to advance a guide wire into the posterolateral, the side branch of the bifurcation. Thank you.